nice one. Good to see you. To see this you is go. day one. This is all working. What did you not update? Quite significant, huh? Keep going. Super still, super cool. Cool, 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 cool. Seeing the Trinity 2 being revealed and we had the privilege to see it as the first people in the world and try it and test it, it was a kind of a one-of-a-kind experience. Compared to the size of the camera, it is the shortest Steadicam I ever saw. This is as Christmas as it gets. The whole wish list came all at once, and that was absolutely exciting. See, it's the same top stage. New Atomist top stage is superb. Out of the top stage, we made what we call the bottom stage. No adjustments at all. The new base plate system, I'm blown away by. I mean, first I've ever seen someone to think about a Steadicam base, an Artemis base, being more than just you know, where the battery goes or where things connect, but to actually play into how you can balance and adjust your rig for whatever you're doing. So where's the money? Let's go. <laughs> the entire brain now is in a box, which speaks Elbus. So you just put this on a table, put the RV wheels there, and here you go. You're controlling the motors also through this? Oh, everything. This oh. is the entire control. The little monitor with the software in it. Really, I love it. Let's say you have a certain joystick speed. You're just two seconds away of changing it. You want to this through Elbus and you can control everything if you have to. That's cool. Anyone can have last minute high five, master grips, wheels, you know, like we can bind them with the Trinity. I can handle control over the DP. It's so sick. I mean, that's your car commercial. If someone would operate the row, you just have to place the camera at the right pacing, the right position. For your DP or the second operator to take over the tilt and work in harmony, that will allow you to execute shots that otherwise uh, are impossible to do with a joystick. Oh my lord. Yep, sorry, I'm already messing it up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> if you push the five, you can travel home. Press home. And this is the way to start the balancing. It doesn't matter what the rig is. When you press this home, the camera is 100% straight. It's all those little details which help us to totally uh, rely on the tool. Bro, focus. The build quality is astonishing. And I, I never saw it in any stabilizer. You can immediately feel that there's a huge amount of precision and details and engineering behind it. You can feel that there's the Ari spirit in the product. It's always obvious. It's all 12G, by the way, so we have enough backup in the units for the upcoming cameras. Wow. Inside here, there's a real powerhouse, which is checking what kind of currency is needed. It's detecting and sensing uh, the demand of every tool which is connected to a connector. This value will stay 5% before the battery will die. You have always fully stabilized power supply. Wow. Wow. Feels like it's not even there. It's really surprising to me to say, okay, I'm coming to look at a new, a new component, a new tool, and say, I need everything here. It's all perfectly designed to be like, this is the next thing that's going to do the shots that I'm required to do. And finally, we should talk about wow. this. Oh yeah, this thing. Piece. Oh, oh, yeah. The key thing here is, it is symmetric. All the weight is in the center, so the head cannot do anything unexpected. The rigidity of the rig, how the cables are connected, how the brackets are made, how easily everything is moved. That's it, we are done. <laughs> Trinity and Artemis became almost as one unit. And it seems that because the Artemis is so well designed, like redesigned and replaced, it flows naturally right into Trinity. So everything that the Trinity 2 now has is stemming from the Artemis's growth. You've somehow made a heavier camera feel very light. Strange, isn't it? It is, it is actually very strange. To be honest, it was a uh, very exciting uh, surprise, really, to come and see such a big renovation over the first generation. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. Doing 360, this is actually one of the most demanded changes as well. A movement can swerve and kind of sway as you go in. All the things that Trinity One was doing, you can do it easier with this one. You don't have any limitations anymore. You can do whatever you want. Definitely there will be a lot of new shots that you can immediately tell, okay, that's a Trinity 2 shot. 
coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. I'ma be the greatest, write my name in the stone. Write my name in the stone. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Yeah, I'm coming back home. Write my name in the stone. Cause I'm coming back home. And the development team, they listened to a lot of our feedback, asking us what would you like to change, what things would you like to see in the next generation, and now to come really and finally see it in front of you and have the time to play with it, and it's everything you expected and some. Trinity is like playing an instrument and it's always jazz.